Another federal lawsuit has been filed in connection with the Cheer Incorporated scandal. This is the sixth federal lawsuit, the first filed in North Carolina, and it comes on the heels of four cases filed in South Carolina and one case filed in Tennessee. Now, if you followed this scandal, the allegations, the defendants, a lot of this is very familiar, but there are some new defendants in the North Carolina lawsuit, specifically Cheer Extreme, a gym based in Raleigh, which according to the lawsuit is one of the most prominent gyms di directing cash, directing clients, directing revenue to Varsity, which is again the top corporate defendant, uh, dominates the cheer industry, which again has been named as a defendant in all of these federal lawsuits. The suit also names the owners of Cheer Extreme in Raleigh, Kelly and Randall Helton, and it also names two of the coaches at this gym. Chase Burris and Sean Wilson. Now, what's interesting, however, in this lawsuit, the alleged perpetrators of sexual abuse against underage cheer athletes are not named. There are three of them referenced in the filing. However, none of those individuals, a coach, a choreographer, and an individual described as a senior coach uh, affiliated with Cheer Extreme, none of those individuals are named. However, they are referenced in this in as far as it relates to their alleged conduct with a John Doe 1. Now, according to the lawsuit, John Doe 1 was the recipient of inappropriate photos from these coaches and, and from the choreographer, was forced to perform oral sex on one of the coaches. Uh, and, and again, just some of the same familiar, all too familiar stories that we have heard from the previous lawsuits. But again, now we've got a new state, we've got a new plaintiff, and multiple new defendants. Fitz News has been on this story from the very beginning since it first broke in the aftermath of the death by suicide of Scott Foster, the former owner, founder of the Rockstar Cheer Gym in Greenville, South Carolina. This news outlet broke that story and ever since then we have been covering every step of this ongoing saga, the legal developments related to it, and the new allegations against the various gyms and individuals associated with those gyms. To keep up with the very latest on the Cheer Incorporated saga, keep it tuned to Fitz News, but also if you haven't started yet, start listening to Cheer Incorporated, the podcast on Apple, on Spotify, which has been, again, covering this story from the very beginning.